Hello everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. And today I kind of want to go over my kind of thoughts and impressions on the Nutsack Satchel 13. Um, I've owned this bag since October of 2021. Um, I've been carrying it pretty much every week, so a little bit of a usage scenario. So I travel for work about every week. Generally I spend one to three nights a week in a hotel. Um, so I bring this with me, kind of carry some of my, my goodies from home. Um, pretty much what I throw everything in besides, you know, like clothes and things like that. But yeah, we'll just kind of go over it. I'll kind of tell you a little bit about the bag and I'll show you what I carry in it. It's just set up from just a random travel from last week. So, um, things are always changing, but I'll show you what I got in here this week. So a little bit about the bag. Um, it's hundred percent American made, which I really like. Um, the wax canvas comes out of a, you know, comes out of the U S the leather comes out of a tannery in the U.S. and it's assembled here in the USA. So it is a little bit more on the expensive side. So just to warn you, if you haven't seen one of these before, um, so you know you're kind of paying for the, you know, the American made in America. But it's also a great material. So we'll go ahead and talk about that. So the canvas is a little bit more of a thicker style canvas. It's not the really thin stuff you would see like some of the less expensive canvas bags. It is thick, um, which is nice. And it does have the full grain leather, so you get this full grain buckle here on the front. And then you also get the bottom of it has a, a full grain bottom. Um, like mine's in pretty good shape. You know, mine doesn't see a lot of heavy use. You know, I don't commute on a bike with it. I don't walk through busy, busy cities or anything. It pretty much goes from the passenger seat and the truck to the hotel, you know, floor or whatever, bed, whatever. So... Um, a few little nicks and stuff, but I haven't conditioned it or anything. This is just the way it's just naturally going. So it's still in really good shape. Um, you can see a few scratches here and there on it, but overall really good. Um, we'll kind of look at the strap here. So the strap is a little bit different from what you'll get nowadays. This one's just kind of like a cotton strap. Um, the ones that you buy now, I believe, come with a, a pad. Um, they actually have a built-in little pad for your shoulder or if you wear it cross-body. Um, that was an option when I bought this one. I decided not to get it. Uh, this one works out just fine. Honestly, I don't use the strap a lot, unless I'm like in an airport. Uh, I mostly just carry it with this handle. So you get a nice handle, kind of same material as the strap, and then you get a nice leather wrapping on it. So nice, comfortable handle. Um, yeah, I carry it most of the time with that. And then the hardware is all good quality. I'll try to get you some decent shot of it. But uh, yeah, it's all nice metal. So it's thick metal, high quality. Uh, the buckles are really nice. You know, they come off you know easy if you want. They swivel nicely. So it's not like the you know the kind of hardware you would get on like a you know twenty dollar bag. Uh, this is definitely a little bit more premium. Um, yeah, and it opens up with this little stud. And then on the inside flap, you get. Uh, I think you're going to be able to see it there, but there's a few little indentations where there's some magnets. So this will actually magnet down. Um, it's not incredibly strong, but it will hold it a little bit. So if you don't want to, you know, buckle it every single time, if you're getting out of it a lot, uh, it works out pretty good. Now, as far as the pockets and stuff goes, you get two compartments on this one. So the main compartment is a all YKK zipper. Um, and then you get these little leather zipper pulls on the main compartment and it zips all the way open. Uh, when you get it, this flap is a little bit stiff, so sometimes you'll get a little bit of a resistance on the zipper when you first get it, but that wears in a little bit over time. It's a nice thing about wax canvas is it kind of wears in. Um, and then you also get a front pocket here, which is like a full length pocket. Um, it doesn't have a zipper pull on that one, but uh, works great. Now the wax canvas is actually water resistant. Um, you know, I don't know. I've never tested it like in heavy rain for a long amount of time, but I have carried it around a little bit, like when it's been sprinkling or raining, like coming from the plane to the, you know, the gate or whatever. A few times I've caught some rain and this one's, you know, it's kind of just beat it off. You could almost like draw a little texture on the, on the wax canvas and then it'll kind of just dissipate over time. Like little nicks and stuff will kind of start to disappear. I've noticed that like if I left it in the, the work truck when it's like super hot out, um, that wax starts to kind of like rejuvenate the finish a little bit. And uh, I've seen Nutsack says you could actually like hold a heat gun a little ways away from it. And it'll actually like refinish it. So it'll get rid of all those little scratches. Never tried that, but I did see that on there. Um, I guess one of the cons would be when you first get this little, when you first get it, this leather stud is actually pretty tight. Um, 
And so like if you're in an airport and say I am wearing it kind of cross body and I have my wallet in it, I keep getting my wallet in and out or whatnot. Um, sometimes this stud's a little hard to get on there, you know, when you're first using it, but over time it loosens up and now it's pretty easy to get in and out. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the contents. I'm going to kind of set the bag a little bit to the side and then we can kind of, I'll kind of show you what I've been carrying in it. Now, remember this is a bag that I use at hotels a lot, so some of the contents are going to be a little more hotel oriented, but um, I carry a little Ziploc, just some plastic utensils and a few drink mixes, just, you know, you might need something. I carry a little container here, just a little screw top plastic container from Walmart. Uh, I carry some ibuprofen because I get a little headache on the road. I carry a little uh, battery bank. This is just a cheap, you know, China one, 10,000 milliamp hours. This one kind of bounces between my uh, nutsack sling and this one just kind of depending on where I'm going. I carry like a bunch of these uh, eyeglass wipes just because I wear glasses sometimes and I also uh, wear safety glasses every day for work. So it's always nice to have clean glasses. Uh, I carry this little Mighty Hank. So really good for wiping off, you know, phone or tablet screens or anything like that. Um, it's always nice to have a little cleaner. Uh, I carry a little tube of uh, SPF 50 sunscreen. And then besides a bunch more wipes, I carry a few of these little, kind of like these little water towelettes, the ones you rip open, put a little bit of water on them. They're just like little, little wipes. So carry those. And then the last thing is a little Night Eyes uh, phone stand. Well, you can use it for a tablet too, but uh, yeah, it just pops up. And then um, you can kind of just set the desired height from it. And then you just pop this little piece up and you can just set your phone on it on the nightstand at the hotel. So pretty cool, super lightweight. Obviously it's flat, doesn't take up any room. Real nice. And that's all I pretty much got in the front pocket. Um, plenty of room. I mean, you could fit more stuff in there. I'm kind of thinking about maybe organizing some of that stuff, maybe using a pouch or something. I haven't really decided yet. It's kind of just a big dump style for me right now, but uh, I do have some different bags and stuff I need to test out and see if I can use. Now the main compartment, I'm going to try to give you the best shot I can. I kind of got kind of an amateur setup here, but um, what we'll do is we'll open up this main compartment um, and then I'll go ahead and pull the contents out and then we'll look at it when it's empty. So. Now on the inside, I have, I carry a little, kind of an interesting little plate. Uh, if, you know, if I need to microwave something on the road or whatever, it's got plastic snaps. So you can put it in the microwave and then um, they actually fold together. Um, it'll fold up and then I won't fold it all the way up. But anyways, it'll fold up into a bowl. So a little bowl. So kind of crazy, but works. Um, I carry an iPad. So this is, I think, is the new version of the iPad Air, this precise reference. It's the cellular version, so I can use it on the road. Um, I carry a cave leather, kind of like a field notes cover. Um, and this one, I just keep a little field notes book in in case I need to write some stuff down. I did a review a while back of a range leather one that I really like, but this is just like my personal one, so I just carry this in the bag. Um, I carry an Apple Pencil. I don't really use the Apple Pencil too much, but I do carry it. And then I carry a, this is an Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro. Now the contents in this kind of change. I've done a video on this in the past also, but um, it kind of just changes based on what I feel like using. So I carry a, a bronze, or sorry, brass uh, pen, bolt action. A lot of times I just fidget with this all the time in the hotel. So that's kind of nice. Um, I threw in kind of a little bit of a newer knife. So I did this one, an unboxing of this not too long ago. This is that real steel Solus Light slip joint. Um, kind of just like a little budget slip joint, but super thin, really lightweight. Uh, perfect for opening up that bag of jerky or <laughs> that package that goes in the microwave or something. So great for that. And then lately I've been carrying the Olight Arkfeld UV for the hotel. So UV light is kind of a nice thing to have in hotels. Uh, you can kind of spy around. Sometimes you see some things you don't want to see and, <laughs> you know, things like that. But it also has a really good base. So one thing I like about the base on this is um, it tail stands really good. So a lot of times, like hotels, at least for me, like the nightstand lights are like super bright. So a lot of times I'll just click this on and I'll just use it as like a little ambient light before I'm going to bed. Um, works out pretty good. And then on the inside, 
I just carry some, there's some bandages and some alcohol wipes and stuff just in case I manage to cut myself playing with a knife. And then on this side, I just have some chapsticks. So not a whole lot crazy in there. And then the last thing I carry is in this big zippered pouch. So on the back side of it, you get a big zipper and um, I carry a pouch in there. This is a Patagonia pouch. Um, and just hard, it just has all my charging cables and stuff. So I use these little Velcro zip ties um, just to keep everything somewhat organized. You know, I keep like a couple charging bricks in there, things like that. So keeps it all nice and organized. That way I have all my chargers. And then that's pretty much all for the contents of the inside. Now, this one, like I said, has that big zippered compartment there on the back. And then you get these two big pockets right here on the front. So pockets are about six inches deep. They go all the way to the bottom. Now, if you decide you want to get the tack sack version of the, of the satchel, you won't have this zipper panel in the back. It'll be kind of like a molly panel. So I think the tack sack version is like a $30 upgrade. Um, and then you'll get that. So if you've seen like the nutsack sling, uh, my previous video, you'll see that inside has that panel of all that molly. It's basically the same thing inside here. So if you want to clip fly, uh, flashlights or knives to it, or you want to use a holster, things like that, you can just clip right on. But for my usage, I, I prefer the zipper for this style of bag for how I use it. Um, but yeah, the materials on the inside, you kind of get that thick, thick material on the inside. Um, it's good quality. I don't have, I never had like loose threads, anything like that. I don't really carry anything here that's going to leak or anything. So I haven't had any problems with staining or anything. Um, just really well built. You know, I get the feeling that this bag is probably going to outlast me. So that's what I appreciate. You know, that's part of the price you're going to pay. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the inside there. The back side of the bag, not a whole lot on it. It's just, you know, the full size, just the panel of all that wax canvas. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a brief overview. Now, if I was going to say one downside about the bag maybe is, so the inside is big enough to carry my MacBook Pro 13. Now, it doesn't have like any dedicated padding. So if you are somebody who has a big commute or is a little bit more aggressive with their bags or whatnot, um, you know, keep that in mind with the contents you have inside. So I have like, a, oh, some sleeves that I put my MacBook in. Now, sometimes when I put them inside this, uh, the sleeves are a little bit bigger and I can't zip the top up all the way. So I can just, I just have to drape this over and then buckle it. Now I've purchased one of the, like the hard shells for MacBooks. And so if I do carry my MacBook, um, you know, I'll just use the hard shell and it protects it against little dings and, you know, scratches and stuff. But, um, you know, I wouldn't want to drop it, you know, with just that hard shell. So just keep that in mind uh, if padding is important to you. Um, but overall, I love this bag. You know, I've had it, like I said, a pretty long time. I do have an affiliate link through Nutsack, um, which will be linked below. And if you decide you want to purchase something from them and you use the affiliate link, I'll get a few bucks for another purchase from them. But um, I've had this bag way longer than I've had the affiliate link. So uh, it's just my style. You know, this, this is kind of the style that I prefer. I have uh, one or two other sling bags from other companies that I haven't even tried yet, just because this is the one that I've preferred to use. So um yeah that's kind of just my overview on it uh in the comments if you have any questions or anything feel free to write them in there um i'd be more than happy to try to answer them for you and then uh yeah if you just want to just browse the website go check them out they do carry this one in different sizes too you can get like a 15 inch um if you know if you need to carry a bigger style laptop in it or you just need more room for your contents and then uh it is available also in uh different colored black